Every day at this factory, hundreds of taps, mixers and fittings are made out of a mixture of metals ready to be used in our bathrooms, kitchens and gardens. These taps start their life in the casting department or foundry where they are cast into moulds. Once they have been machined and the rough edges have been ground away, the taps are polished. Polishing gives the surface a smooth and shiny finish. Once a component has been polished, it is ready to be taken to the electroplating department. Here, nickel and chrome is plated electrochemically onto the brass. This protects the component from corrosion and gives it an attractive chrome appearance. The components are loaded onto jigs or hangers and coated in rubber. A crane fetches the loaded jig and moves it to the electroplating section, where the components are dipped into a sequence of baths. This section is under control of the electroplater, who makes sure that the correct chemicals and metals are ready and mixed and at the correct temperature. The crane lowers the components into various tanks where they are cleaned. The first tanks uses ultrasound to remove the polish off the smallest crevices. Another tank uses electroionic cleaning. Here, any oxides and scale is removed. This is a very important step as even the most invisible particles can prevent the nickel and chrome from attaching to the brass component. Now the components are ready to be dipped into a bath that has a nickel solution in it. The first layers are very thin. This serves as a foundation for the other layers. The components are dipped into the nickel baths four times. Each time a new layer is formed. After the nickel bath, the components are washed. Next, they go into an acid bath that will help activate the chrome. Next, they go into a chrome bath. This turns them shiny and silver. Electroplating is a trade that is regulated by the Department of Higher Education and requires a trade qualification. The whole process takes 90 minutes and is carefully monitored by the plant controller. If there are any problems, he will call the electroplater. The electroplater has to do measurements and calculations. It is also important that he understands the chemical reactions involved in the process. A good matric path in maths and science are essential. Once the electroplating has been done, the crane transfers the components to be offloaded again. Here, they are checked for plating defects such as burning marks, scratches or bubbles. Now the plated components are packed and ready to be assembled.